I'm talking about my issue of my masters. Um, the customer stays for a long time. Uh, if a customer stays for a long time in a store, the waiting time may be longer and affecting the customer experience in the restaurant. So, and also the service fishing kind. When a large number of standard customers in the restaurant with us and maybe need more time to process the order and delivery food, check out anything else. And it affect our customer experience because they might have a long queue and waiting time. So, and they match the restaurant image. When they are a standard customer in the restaurant, it might may affect other customer inspiration and image of the restaurant to affecting the reput reputation and rep reputation of the restaurant. So how the how I do the solution is I will prefer um self-service ordering system. That's mean the QR code. Mm -hmm. I um, put a QR code on every table so the customer can order by their self, by their phone and easy to get a food. No need to wait for a long queue. And also um, I will Optimize dining layer layout by the tables and chair. The distance between each table is more reasonable, uh, recent, recent table. So the customer can eat more comfortable. And also I will do a special package for the lunch time on Monday to Thursday during 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Because those time uh, the customer, what do I say? Uh, cause the customer is um, reduced. So I make the special package to get more customer come back. So the customer can finish the meal in a short time and shorten the distance time and make more customer come in. So, I want to talk about difficult customer service situations. And there are so many situations, but I picked up about food allergy. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the situation is like last Mother's Day, a family came to the restaurant and had a special Mother's Day three courses meal. So we had a separate menu and in, it wasn't written with all ingredients each course. So they asked section staff if any com contained nuts because one of the one of them had nut allergy and our staff asked the chef about it and there was miscommunication between chef and staff due to high volume. So the staff told us that there were no nuts on the food. Actually, it contained. So after dinner, they called us with kind of raised voice to tell us that their son reacted to allergy and went to emergency room and also asked us to recompense for dinner and the cost they paid for hospital and medicine. So solutions, it's like, I had two solutions. So food allergy is one of the 
yeah, most important and difficult issues in hospitality industry. So can you go down? Okay. The so solution one is developing communication between the chef and servers and food allergen training. So we know how to effectively communicate between the chef and staff about customer's food allergy and food order. Don't guess. And we take responsibility of understanding food allergy and the consequences of serving the wrong food to a customer with food allergy. Also, all of the staff has to be aware of an action plan about how to deal with food allergens. The next solution is marking important food labels with some color or bold text on the menu so that we demonstrate knowledge of reading food labels and identifying food allergens on the label, especially on special occasions like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and Christmas parties, extra. Also, kitchen staff is able to identify food allergens in products, recipes, packaged food, ingredient lists, meal, components, condiments, and garnishes. That's all. Okay. And feedbacks? Yep. Yeah, the topic uh, I selected was uh, how to increase revenue for the organization through staffing levels and skill profiles. So what, what that means is just ways where we, or how the, the business can um, employ the right amount of people that have the right level of skill for the right job. So yeah, that, that's, what, that's, what, that's what basically it is, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, okay, yep. That, that's yeah, just tell me yep. if you want to scroll down. Scroll down, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so uh, staffing levels. That, that is so yeah, okay. that, that's okay. That, 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 that's fine, yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. You want to hear or just scroll down? Yeah. No, it's okay, it's, it's all right. Um, I'll, I'll just read off my screen, so it will be much easier, but yeah, yeah okay. Uh, yeah, so staffing levels um, means both the number of people and skill sets required should match the volume of work. So I'll just give you an example of, 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 of what that means, of my understanding of that. Like, like for example, in, in the busy, busy periods of the kitchen or of the restaurant, um, I give example, um, like in, in this example for the assessment I was doing, um, it's based on my workplace. So like when it's very, very busy, um, we ask the kitchen hand to come to the line and help assist us chefs. Um, people say we should recruit another person, but he has enough skill to help us chefs. So we, we do not feel that um, um, we need to employ other people because he, he has adequate skill. He has enough skill to, dip, to, to, to do his job uh, with our assistance, of course. We won't just let him go on ahead and do everything or we'll always supervise him and make sure he's doing the right thing. Um, what's another example I can give? Um, also with the wait waiters, um, because there's like a skill shortage out here in Mornington, we employ um, high school kids to do the um, to do some of the waiting. And um, like I said, we, we're not going, we don't put all the kids together, right? 
we have maybe one paired up with two senior waiters and the floor manager. So it's balanced, right? You, you won't have, uh, at least uh, you have a balance of, um, the skill level is balanced, right? So you have one, like so many years of experience, one, maybe two or three years of experience and one like maybe his first week or second week at work. So that's, well, that's what they mean by um, skill level is balanced and portioned to the job, the job at hand, that, that task required. Um, yeah, so where am I? Uh, solution, just, just scroll down, just scroll down. Um, yeah, no, no, go, go back up. There. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the solution, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. That's, 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 yeah. Um, and another thing I want to add to that, um, like, your, your skill profile is very important because, like, when when some when the a kitchen for example employs someone he's not just gonna your your skill level is important but it's how can i say this it's how you how you use your skill set to not just for the business but it affects everyone that's around you so yeah that's anyway that's how i see it anyway yeah um, any feedback? I don't know. Um, any questions you guys want to ask me? Okay. Recording. This meeting is. So I got roasting requirements. And we're just going to start with a little bit of an introduction. So, yeah, the hospitality industry is just like really hit during COVID and after COVID. And uh, like the most or the biggest problem is when you are talking about rostering staff, either it's the casual or just part-timers or full-timers. As you can see here, it depends on the wages. When, you, when you're rostering someone, someone it depends on the wages, annual leave, sick leave, personality clashes, uh, convivence, and, bus and busy periods, periods of hours and, and stuff. So the case here is just like we've got an issue of a function on a Saturday night. And yeah, the issue is that we've got 85 people booked and uh, those 85 people booked with two weeks in advance. And we send the roster one week, one week before uh, the actual function was going to be, was going to happen. So a couple of days after, one of the staff just canceled his shift because uh, he just wanted to sew and he didn't have any reason. And then uh, we just know that we have to replace that person. So what do we do there? There we go with the solution. So when you have a good strategy of rostering and when you have enough staff, you will be okay for the night or just for any day of the week if you're working. So with the pandemic, uh, people and staff in general just changed their way of work. And now it's harder, it's harder when they want to work and how they want to work. So there are many reasons for them to stop showing up to work and ca cancel their shifts or just say that like they don't want to work and, or or I'm just gonna take a sick, a sick leave or annual leave or something like that. 
That's why a proper solution would be a couple of apps such as Deputy and SAP. Deputy can give you the flexibility of choosing your own your own schedule, your own roster. You can let uh, your employer know when you want to work and when you don't want to work. If you really need someone like really urgent, uh, there is an app called SAP and it's basically full of people that want to a one off shift and it's like people that are only for one occasion so they are willing to help out but they are not willing to go to that they are not willing to get an ongoing position with your restaurant or just your bar or or your business and that's pretty much all uh, last but not least, you should get a really healthy relation with your, I mean, professional relation with your staff. And you need to get to know your staff because that way uh, it creates a good environment and they just, they just want to be loyal and work properly. Wow, really good. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm showing my assessment too about um, increasing revenue for organization staff performance. So um, the employee performance is important to an organization or business because if you want like to get to a goal, you need a productivity prof uh, with profit stability and success for the um and those results aren't going to happen without a stellar employee performance um achieving large goals require a team of motivated team members working together and that's why if there's a problem with with the staff performance we have to have a solution right away so what is the staff performance is quality of work um accuracy and competence also, quantity of work, productivity level, time management, and ability to meet deadlines, um, job knowledge, skills, and um, understanding of the work, working relationships, ability to work with others, and communication skills, and for the last, achievement. So, the issue um, uh, for my business is that lately um, our, uh, our employees don't complete work tasks to the required standards and so standard, uh, standards to the restaurants. So um, most of our employees don't seem to understand directions or job requirements. This could be like maybe lack of training and practice. Also, it can be um, management problems. Uh, like guidance and feedback. So this is affecting our restaurant in different serious ways um, because the customers are complaining because food quality or waiting times are like super, super long. So the customers are like wanting to have refunds and the delivery drivers like are canceling the orders. So also they like Uber customers or so like delivery apps customers asking for the refunds in the apps. So it's a um, very serious like issue because the restaurant is losing money with that. So a uh, solution that I think about was um, uh, beginning with like, uh, like talking with the, with the employees, like uh, informal performance discussion um, being clear about meeting the performance requirements in the position in description and expected contribution of the role to the work of the business. Also, we are improving our like online training. Um, they will have to complete the one hundred percent of training before working again. We before like doing the the next shift. Um, and also, we are giving new training to the managers and the team leaders. So. 
they can give a new training plan. Like we're giving we're giving them a new training plan so they can like um, guide and train their crew members with the restaurant standards. So yep, that's it. Any feedback?